前からやってた勝因の省略は完璧赤と青それぞれの複数同時発動もぼちぼち後の課題は領域と長距離の瞬間移動かな This is Satoru Gojo For those who don't know He's a character in a popular anime known as Jujutsu Kaisen. This world is filled with magic and sorcery, and Satoru Gojo here uses magic to do this, but it turns out you can still do this without the use of magic. The ancient art of pen sinning has been popularized in the early 2000s, and over the years has been developed in many crazy ways to make things like this possible. Today, I'm gonna be breaking down everything Satoru Gojo does in this clip. Through the eyes of a pen spinner. But what I didn't realize before getting myself into this was how hard it would be to not define clear tricks in some sections, as parts are not perfectly animated and the pen tends to teleport in some areas. The cool thing about Gojo spinning is that it actually gets harder and harder as the clip progresses, so learning the entire sequence in order could actually make sense to our beginner. Also, first of all, I'm gonna flip the original video because most of you are right handed, as am I. I'll still keep a left handed version of the clip in the corner for all of you left handed people. The first trick he does is probably the most common fundamental trick in pensioning, which many people learn as their first trick, and that is the thumb around. If you want tutorials for these tricks, then check out my other tutorial videos on my channel. I'll leave links to them in the description. Satoru Gojo pauses for a bit before performing his first linkage of tricks. A linkage in pensioning is a combination of two or more tricks performed smoothly together. The first trick he does is known as a fingerless thumb round reverse, which he performs going between these fingers. The next trick he does is somewhat hard to see, but I believe the only thing it could be is another one of the four fundamental tricks known as the Sonic, which looks like this by itself. We're just gonna ignore the fact that the animators made the first frame of the trick look like a twisted Sonic, then suddenly teleport into a Sonic finger position. Not to mention the trick in the video is only 0.5 rotations, which makes zero sense, which means it would have to be a hypermodern hybrid between a twisted Sonic and a Moonwalk Sonic while staying rotating the same direction with a palm orientation switch indicating a skip charge motion as well. These three frames in a row make zero sense whatsoever, and you'd have to be an intergalactic teleporting wizard to even make this possible. Well, I guess that does make sense. <sighs> okay, fine. Challenge accepted. Let's do it the way the animators made it. So this sequence starts with the fingerless thumb around, reversed to this slot, then starts like a twisted sonic, but then quickly hybridized to an inverse side sonic to be able to get to the sonic position before finishing in less than half a rotation. There, I did it. Are you happy, animators? You must be, because now Satoru Gojo does the third of the four fundamental tricks known as the charge. This was my first trick I learned years ago, and maybe it will be yours. Again, check the description for tutorials on the fundamentals. But now, let's just get back to breaking down the video clip. After doing a normal charge, he does a reverse charge, which, like the name suggests, is a reverse variation of the charge. This is also an important trick to note to be able to learn many other tricks in the future. That was pretty easy, right? For what comes next, you'll probably need to know the basic finger slots. This means T for thumb, 1 for index, 2 for middle, 3 for ring, and 4 for pinky. When you say 2-3, that means the pen is between your middle and ring fingers. Simple enough? Right, now let's break down what comes next. The first trick is the most simple, which is the last of the four fundamentals known as pass. Satoru Gojo does a pass from 1-2 to 2-3. Next is a pass reverse from 2-3 to T1. Everything's very simple now, right? But now he does an index pass from T1 to 1-2, which is kind of awkward to perform correctly, but it's definitely possible. Next is a pass reverse from 1-2 to T1, followed by an extended thumb round to 1-2. We're just going to assume the animators either forgot to animate the extra 0.5 rotations, or the pencil was moving so fast that the one frame was not enough time to capture the full rotation, because performing an extended thumb round with 0.5 rotations less is pretty annoying, and really only done by noobs accidentally doing the normal thumb round extended incorrectly. Anyway, after the extended thumb round, he performs a pass reverse to 2-3 immediately followed by a pass reverse to 1-2. The next trick is a simple palm down charge, but the transition from the pass reverse to the charge is pretty cool, because whether the animator did this intentionally or not, it's still cool because it's actually a skipped charge motion, which looks simple, but somewhat hard to do if you're a beginner. Everything up to this point looks like this. What comes next might be a little hard to do without magic, but it's still possible. Here we could do a palm up index background 2.5 which looks like this. The 2.5 just means it's two and a half full rotations, which is a little hard to tell from the animation, and it could actually be two or three rotations, so give or take a little is fine. The entire sequence looks like this. What comes after, we'll definitely need some magic to do correctly, but don't worry, I'm actually a wizard so it's fine. First, we can do an index around 1.5, because there are 1.5 rotations before the trick then changes direction when it gets to this position, which we can do with a palm up fingerless thumb around reverse, which then performs several rotations before disappearing behind our hand. After this, we summon the pen to rotate counterclockwise several times before catching it in our palm. Pretty simple, right? The entire thing looks like this.
Thanks for watching. If you like this kind of video, let me know and feel free to check out my other videos too. See you next time.